Okay, look, y'all, I'm here to tell you why Pete Golding is going to be just fine moving forward in the future as Alabama's defensive coordinator and why you guys have been too hard on him. So first of all, I got to start with this. Last year as the inside linebackers coach, he wasn't in charge of the defense. He may or may not have taken over midway during the season, but even if that's the case, the defense got better after early October. Even with that said, he coached the inside linebackers and he had one inside linebacker, Mac Wilson, who seemed to have had just a rough season overall. And Dylan Moses was really playing out of position more than anything. He's more of a Mike linebacker, but he was playing the wheel linebacker because Mac Wilson was the Mike linebacker. Then you consider that they had a lot of injuries and a bunch of new players coming in, you know, for this upcoming year. They lost two guys at the same position this year, both at inside linebacker. Dylan Moses was going to be the Mike linebacker for once, and everyone was raving about what he was doing. And then Joshua McMillan, a fifth-year senior, a ton of experience, was going to be the wheel linebacker, a guy who at least knew what he was doing in defense, even if he wasn't as talented as some of the other guys. This would have been a very good year for inside linebacker play. And if you're not familiar, inside linebacker is the most important position in the Nick Saban defense um, because you have to make all of the calls. So this year, we had two 18-year-olds playing the hardest position in the Nick Saban defense. They couldn't rely on experienced players to confirm what they were doing. And this is coming straight from the mouth of Pete Golding himself, you know, in the press conference he did recently. And it was confirming some of the things that I've noticed on film in the games this year is that they have to, the true freshman inside linebackers, have to set the calls. They have to set the front, which is the defense lineman in front of them. They have to set the blitzes. And there was nobody on the field from the linebacker position who would know what to do that can help them not second guess the decisions that they made. That is a very unique circumstance. Alabama has played true freshmen before at the linebacker position, but true freshmen have had uh, seniors and people with experience in the middle with them. Nick Saban has never really played true freshman linebackers together in the middle of his defense having to make the call. Pete Golden said that is a very unique circumstance. So Golding sought to scheme away opponent advantages and learn to be more thoughtful about not asking his guys to do something that they can't. He expressed that in that press conference for the Citrus Bowl that I'm talking about, where as you can tell, like they're very smart and they know what to do to stop an offense or they know how they want to attack an offense. But sometimes with these young players, they may not be able to grasp that as well. So he said, we're learning how to, you know, adjust accordingly for the players by, you know, don't want to put too much on those guys. And so one of the images that he left with or the phrase he said, change the picture, but keep the rules consistent. So make it a little bit simpler, but allow the rules to be consistent so that they can adjust up accordingly. And I'm looking forward to him being able to do that in the future. I'm excited about what he can do with his defense. Another statement that he made, just like rounding it out, he said the young defense alignment, and you know, they're very coachable. He noticed that this season, like they want to get better. But he said... He, you know, with that, they had to learn. He had guys end up in the same gap a lot this year. As a defensive lineman, you got to stay in your gap where you're on the C gap, the B gap, the A gap. You have to maintain gap integrity, and they had trouble doing that this year. And you know what happens when you have trouble with gap integrity? You give up runs. And this explains why the running game was so, uh, it was a struggle on defense this year. Well, relative to Alabama, because it was still 35th in the nation. But they got work to do, you know, in their gap integrity. And the second level guys have to help correct that. But this year you have true freshman linebackers at the second level who have to correct true freshman defensive linemen who have trouble with gap integrity and they couldn't do it. And now you see where these struggles are coming from. That requires experience and it requires some simplification for the player's sake, you know, at least early on and then moving forward into this next season. But I expect better things moving forward. I don't think Alabama fans are used to having to see progress and the process actually work slowly because they've seen so much success. It's forced you guys to become results oriented rather than process oriented. So my advice is to get back to being process oriented so that you can understand that these things don't just happen overnight. The players have to develop and the coaches have to help them do that. But it takes time and it takes effort. And it's not just on the coach. It's not just on the player. It all comes together. That's all I got to say.